today we are going to discuss the topic design of bevel gear so the main contents are what is bevel gear the design procedure of bevel gear and then a problem and explanation so coming to what is bevel gear bevel gear means in case of bevel gear the two axis means the axis of driver and axis of driven gear intersect to each other means mainly the features are their faces means the gear shape is conical and the two axis if you are checking the two axis that is the angle between two axis will be 90 degree mostly mostly it is 90 degree it can be other than 90 degree also so this is a common figure of bevel gear you can see here if we are drawing two axis the axis intersect and you can see the axis the angle between the those two axes will be 90 degree so these are the different application means mainly bevel gears are used in locomotives marine application trending truss steel plants railway track etc so this is the design procedure when we are going to design a uh, bevel gear the main terms coming are finding pitch angle lewis form factor equivalent number of teeth velocity of pinion velocity factor torque then application of Lewis equation to find module. Finally, we are design. So now we are going to a problem of bevel gear. The problem is a pair of cast iron bevel gears connect to shaft at right angle. The pitch diameters of the pinion and gear are 80 mm and 100 mm respectively. The tooth profiles of the gears are of 14 and half degree composite form. The allowable static stress for both the gears is 55 MPa. If the pinion transmit 2.75 kW at 1100 RPM, find the module and number of teeth on each gear from the point of strength and check the design for wear. Take endurance limit as 630 MPa and modulus of elasticity as 84 kN per mm square. So, when going to problem, these are the given data. It is given that the teeth is 14 and half, de half degree composite. Static strength is given as 55 MPa. Power is given as 2.75 kW. RPM of pinion is 1100. We have to find module. Set P means number of teeth on pinion. Set G number of teeth on gear. And the endurance strength is given as 630 MPa. Also, Young's modulus is given as 84 kilonewton per mm square so upon going to uh, data book of mahadevan on page number 219 on page number 219 and then 218 217 and 215 these are the pages coming of coming for bevel gear in starting from 215 if you are referring to page number 215 you can see that the starting is acute angle bevel gear then on in the next page it is given obtuse angle bevel gear and right angle bevel gear so it is given in question that it is given in question a pair of cast and bevel gear connect to shaft at right angle so we, we have to select the bevel gear as right angle that is corresponding to page number 217 case c so First, we have to find out delta 1. Delta 1 means pitch angle. Delta 1 corresponds to pinion. Delta 2 corresponds to gear. So, delta 1 means pitch angle of pinion. So, the equation is given direct on page number 215. The equation is given. That is, sorry, not 215, 217. On page number 217, the equation is given tan delta 1 equal to d1 by d2 you can see the equation so upon substituting d1 and d2 you will find that delta 1 equal to 38.6 degree since the total angle between the two axes is 90 degree the pitch angle of pinion we got 38.6 so the pitch angle of gear will be 90 minus 38.6 that is 51.4 which means the total angle means the total angle between gear and pinion will be 90 degree that's why we are subtracting 38.6 uh, from 90 to find the pitch angle of gear so 
next upon going to the next page you can see that the one thing we have mentioned in the below is lewis form factor that, that we will discuss later so next upon going to page number 218 218 you can see that the equivalent number of teeth or formative number of teeth page one it is the page number and equation number is mentioned above means equal number of teeth set d is equal to set by cos delta and also we know the basic equation module is equal to d by set or set d is equal to t by m so set d is equal to d by m that is the equation we know again if you are going to set d means equal number of teeth set by cos delta so set we already know d by m and d is given in question as 80 mm so 80 by m by cos delta 1 means delta 1 correspond to pin m so finally getting set d p s 102.36 by m similarly equivalent number for gear equal to 100 by m by cos delta 2 which is getting as 160.28 by m so here we have found out the equivalent number of teeth of pinion and gear in terms of m m means module so the next step is we have to find the lewis form factor this term we already studied in the helical gear means lewis form factor we can find the same equation is if you are going to page number 204 means you can find the lewis equation that since it is given as 14 and half degree composite to teeth that is it is given already in question as 14 and half degree composite teeth on the first line itself so upon getting the equation by it is getting a 0 0.124 minus 0 0.684 by set d means for pinion we are substituting instead of set d 102.36 by m and for gear we are substituting 160.28 m by m so we are getting the equation for yp and yg in terms of module and finally we are designing the design based on e based on pnm is usually we are designing all all gear system based on pinion since the pinion is weaker so the next one next equation is also similar to you the lowest equal to pi dn by 60. so substituting diameter of pinion and rpm here we are getting velocity as 4.6 meter per second so upon getting velocity our next step is to find the velocity factor so going to 219 you can see the velocity factor equations there since here nothing is mentioned about the cutters means it, it, it is given nothing about the teeth cut means the in question it is not given the teeth are cut or anything so in this case we are taking for generated teeth if the teeth are cut it will mention surely in question otherwise you have to take generated teeth so generated teeth equation c v equal to 6.1 by 6.1 plus v we already got 4.6 so finally cv coming as 0 0.57 again next coming to lewis equation that is 218 here there is a small difference for lewis equation in comparing to the previous case means here the equation is ft is equal to sigma c v b by m into l minus b by l L means here there is a new term coming is L. L means the cone distance. Means uh, similarly saying the length of the gear or, or we can say the length of the gear. And the equation for L you can find from page number 217. If you are referring page number 217, you can find the equation for cone distance that is L equal to D1 by 2 sin delta 1. So substituting that you are getting L is equal to 64.1 mm. Next we are finding upon getting L we are finding B. B means face width. So the width of the gear is given on the next page 218. B is equal to L by 3. It is given as B is equal to L by 3. So it is the most general equation width of the gear B is equal to L by 3. So upon substituting L you are getting B is equal to 21.3 next you are finding the same thing means the finding torque from power then upon finding torque from power ft is equal to 2t by 2t by d that, is, that equation is also familiar to you from that you are getting ft equal to 596 newton so upon getting all these terms substitute this term in the lewis equation and you, you will get the final term uh, in all in m means we are getting a equation in square of m 
in sum square that is 596 equal to 173.41 into m minus 9.338 m square from that m m means module is equal to 4.5 approximately equal to 5 mm so here we are getting module upon getting module we will get number of teeth on pinion number of teeth on gear and this is up to static strength design next we are going to design which one wear design so upon going to wear design you can find an equation that is on the page 219 if you are going to page number 219 you can get the wear equation fw equal to d1 b q e q e k by cos delta 1 is machine cost in the data book delta 1 means delta p delta of pinion so where, where q e q e you can find from the equation there is an equation below that q e is equal to 2 z d g by z z d g by z d p here z d 2 z d 1 means z d 2 refers gear and 1 refers pinion so up from that you will get um, q e and upon getting q e next you have to find out is k so k you can find already you know the equation k upon going to page number 214 going bottom of the page of 214 you can get the equation of k so upon substituting the different values in k sigma e means endurance strength alpha you already know it is given in the equation alpha in 14 and half degree alpha then e1 e2 that is saying smallest given in question so upon substituting you will get k is 1.687 and also q is 1.11 so finally substituting this term in the equation of fw you will get fw equal to 4640 newton so fw you are getting 4640 newton and wh what about ft ft you are getting 596 which means 4640 is greater than 596 that is fw greater than ft that is the gear can withstand wear up to 4640 newton means the load it can withstand upon condition of wear is 4640 newton but only here we are applying a load of 596 newton so we can say that the gear is safe from this point of wear okay thank you